Hey guys, what's up? I'm Christian Taylor, and today I'm going to be talking about OtterBox cases for the iPhone XS. First of all, have you ever wondered what OtterBox even means? Fun fact, OtterBox was started in 1998 making water-resistant boxes for the outdoors. Huh, who knew? I somehow thought that they started making phone cases, but I guess they just saw a hole in the market and decided to jump in it. Way to think outside the box. <sighs> I'm not quitting my day job. Wait, I don't even have a day job. So anyway, OtterBox cases. Let's start with the OtterBox symmetry. This is my favorite case line from OtterBox. It's slim yet still protective, and I personally think they look pretty darn good, especially that clear one. I am a sucker for clear cases, and OtterBox's clear case is slim, it's protective, you can see the back of your phone easily, and I like how the edges are rounded, keeping the general shape of the iPhone. Now the sides of the cases are half hard plastic and half rubber or TPU or whatever the more soft material is, which I really like because it gives it kind of that hard foundation to it, that solidness, but still the front is rubbery to offer you that lip protection against front drops. Now I noticed that this OtterBox Symmetry case is even thinner proportionally than the one on my Pixel 2 XL. I asked OtterBox about this and they said somehow they were able to make the cases thinner but not sacrifice any protection. Whether that's 100% true or not, I'm not sure, but I do really like the thickness. It's just thick enough that I feel like it's protective, but it's not overly bulky in any way. The clear version has a really smooth back, but the colored versions have kind of this rough, almost like fine sandpaper texture. It's a little weird at first, but once you get used to it, I really like it. It's just nice and grippy. The biggest thing I love about this case, and the reason that I just can't take it off my phone, is the buttons. They're so clicky. Now if you've ever tried an Apple leather case, you know, dang those metal buttons are good. They're really clicky and responsive, and although these buttons are plastic, they feel just as clicky and responsive as the metal buttons on the Apple leather case. I have never, and I mean ever experienced a case with buttons this nice that were plastic. OtterBox didn't just send me the Symmetry case, they also sent me the Defender. Now I kind of have mixed feelings about this case. I've trashed it in the past for its horrible plastic screen protector, but I'm happy to report that OtterBox has removed the plastic screen protector. Thank the Lord, it is about time. So now, Yes, you can actually use this case with a glass screen protector. I did, and it was awesome. Now don't get me wrong, this is still a chunky case, and if you're shooting for style, this is not gonna win any awards, and this is probably not the case for you. But if you want the best protection for your phone, a case where you can chuck it at the wall and it's gonna survive, and any way you drop it, it's gonna be fine, then the OtterBox Defender is for you. I can actually recommend it now that it works with glass screen protectors. It was honestly a pleasure to use, and while it's not for me because of its thickness and chunkiness, I really didn't mind the time I spent with it. Really, the only problem with the OtterBox Defender now is that the rubber still is going to stretch out and get kind of loose and creaky over time. But overall, OtterBox, if you're watching this, you did a phenomenal job on the Defender case, and I've seen you improve so much with that lineup. So great job. I love the color on the one they sent me. It just looks so nice with the gold of the iPhone. You guys did a really good job. So in conclusion, while I'm personally not going to rock the OtterBox Defender, the OtterBox Symmetry has been a daily driver for me, and I'm going to have a hard time letting another case steal its thunder, because it is one heck of a case. So what do you guys think? Do you like the OtterBox cases? Definitely be sure to drop a comment down below. I'll have links in the description for all of them if you'd like to pick one up. And please be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell because I'm going to be dropping new videos, case videos all week long for the iPhone XS and iPhone X. You can check out some of my other videos over there. And with that said, I will catch you guys next time.